Hello friends, uh, in today's video we're going to be investigating the engine management light on this uh, Toyota Yaris. Uh, this car failed uh, MOT and uh, the reason it failed on is that uh, when you turn the ignition on, uh, the engine light doesn't come on. So there we go, I'm just going to turn it back on. So you got the oil light on the right hand side and on the left hand side uh, uh, you got the ABS brake, uh, power steering, uh, bag battery and the uh, temperature uh, coolant temperature light uh, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna strip the speedometer and see uh, what the problem is behind uh, I've got the feeling that the previous owner or the dealer where we uh, where the car was bought from uh, they must have uh, uh, blocked the light with uh, some kind of tape so that's what we're gonna investigate now so to start off with we're gonna strip this uh, uh, trim like this so you lift it up and take it off just gonna move it to the side okay so just gonna disconnect this uh, harness from here there we go. so that's uh, that clear okay so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna remove these uh, uh, screws uh, 8 mil screws which we're gonna undo there we go that's one there's one here Okay, that's the second one out of the way. So now, what we'll have to do is we'll we'll have to remove this one and this one here. One here. There we go. So we're gonna pull the whole speedometer out like this. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna disconnect it from before I disconnect it, I'm gonna turn the ignition off. So we're gonna press this clip here. Okay friends, uh, now we're gonna disconnect the harness. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna press the clip here and pull out the harness like this. That's one of them. Right friends, uh, so next uh, we're gonna pull this harness out like this. And then uh, this connector here. There we go. Right friends, now that I've taken the whole cluster out, uh, just gonna investigate uh, the issue now so what we're gonna do is uh, we're gonna check uh, the bulbs uh, to see if they are blown friends uh, I've taken all the bulbs out from the cluster and uh, uh, this side seems fine so I'm just gonna check this side now Okay friends, I've uh, put the bulbs back on, so now we're going to investigate the other side. There we go, we found the culprit on this side, 
someone has removed the bulb which is the engine management light bulb so we'll uh, fix that now all right friends uh, this is the engine management light uh, uh, bulb slot so i've managed to get a new bulb for 50p this is a 1.5 uh, uh, watt uh, bulb so this is just a small capsule which we just push in like this okay and uh, just gonna slide it in like that just gonna place the other ones too so remember this is the engine management light bulb which we replaced so we just so we're just gonna put the uh, cluster back into the dash just gonna push the connectors in one two just gonna make sure they are fully in place that's the third one there we go hear the click okay friends now that i've connected all the uh, connectors so just gonna slide in the cluster back into the dash there we go that's how it fits in and it's uh, secured by four screws one here one there one there and one on this side at the back there we go so now we're gonna tighten it and the fourth and the last one here okay before i put the trim in i'm just going to show you there we go now we could see the engine management light there which uh, the previous owner or the car dealer took out to sell the car uh, we did the diagnostic and they came up with the uh, bank one oxygen sensor failure okay so that's what we're gonna replace at least uh, we know uh, what the issue is with the car now so the next bit is to fit the surrounding this trim here right before I fit the surrounding I gonna connect this uh, harness in there we go that harness is uh, for the uh, buttons here okay so the uh, computer and the mode buttons okay so just gonna push the trim in like this there we go friends that's fully secured right friends uh, just gonna start the car up there we go we could see the engine management light clearly there uh, which means that uh, uh, we'll have to change the lambda sensor co2 sensor on this car uh, that's what it came up when we did the diagnostic okay so that's the bank one lambda sensor we'll have to change thank you very much for watching the video